verse number 65 of Surah Al-Dhumr, chapter 24, 24 of Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, verse 65, And undoubtedly it has been revealed to you and to those before you that if you associate other gods with Allah, then surely all your deeds shall go in vain, you shall certainly remain in loss. loss. And Tafsir says in it, the address is to Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the objective is the one who listens. If its purpose is to denote the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam only, then this is making a possible dependent upon the impossible. As it is found in the Holy Quran that if Allah had a son, then I, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, would be the first to worship him. Our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as he speaks about the oneness of Allah, he says, if he had son, then I would have been the first one to worship him, so he has no son. Neither someone have given birth to him. Qul huwa Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. He is be mislo be misal, he is be niyaz, and this is the creator, this is almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he is one, he is alone to be worshipped. And then more further, verse number 66 of Surah Al-Dhumr, chapter 24 of Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, but instead you should worship Allah alone and be amongst those who are thankful. Tafsir explains, O oh believers, be thankful and be from those who are grateful. Do not leave them or O oh my beloved, remain steadfast in the same way, engage in the worship of Allah and His gratitude. That be steadfast and be with the good ones. Be with the truthful peoples. This is what Quran Majid demands from us. And more further, verse number 67 of Surah al dhumr which is the second last verse of today's discussion, chapter 24 of Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and they do not honor Allah as is due to him and he will roll up the entire earth on the day of judgment. This is the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all the heavens shall be rolled up by the authority of his right hand and glorified be he and he is exalted from what they associate with him. Here hand does not mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala consists have possesses a physical structure. He is free from structure the way we have structure, hands, legs. He is Nur, Allahu, Nur samawati wal ard. So here Quran Majid is trying to explain you the kudrat and power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kun fayakun. It does not mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses a hand or consists a hand. So Tafsir explains more beautifully of verse 67. Az Zumar, Surah Az Zumar and chapter 24 of Holy Quran from this we learn that the one who cannot really understand the true honor and respect of the Prophet will not understand the value and honor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the infidels were denying the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa the respect and the honor due to him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in another verse and the Jews did not know the estimation of Allah as was necessary for him the Holy Prophet وسلم, says that on the day of judgment, Allah would fold the heavens and place them in his hand of power and would say, I am the king. Where are those who had claimed to be kings and governors? Then he will fold the regions of the earth and declare the same. By hand is meant that hand which is accordance to his lofty place is lofty status so here does not mean the hand we have with us so this is the power of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala glory of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will roll up the entire earth and the heavens on the day of qiyamah with the authority of his power moving on to the last verse of today's discussion which is verse number 64 of surah al dhumr chapter 24 of holy quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and the trumpet shall be blown and all who are in the heavens and all who are in the earth will be senseless except those whom Allah will exempt. Every individual including every creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would be senseless when the trumpet will be blown on the day of Qiyamah and then it will be blown the second time and lo they shall stand up from the graves awaiting by this is meant tafsir says the first blowing of the trumpet which would be for the purpose of destruction and to render everything unconscious the second blowing of the trumpet 
will be trumpet will be take for a place 40 years thereafter which would be for the purpose of bringing everything back to life and consciousness the holy quran has mentioned about the blowing five times the first in which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blew the soul into hazrat adam on whom be peace then the blowing of hazrat jibrail in the blessed breast blessed breast of baby maryam for granting her a son then blowing of hazrat isa on whom be peace on the bud shaped out of the clay to grant life to them, then blowing of Zulkar 9 on fire to melt, then steel, and then blowing the trumpet by Hazrat Israfil. This is Tafsir Ruhul Mu'ani explains us five times it would be blown. And more further, there are Hazrat Jibrail, Mikail, Israfil, and Israel whose death will not take place through blowing in fact it will occur after blowing through the command of allah or it means the martyrs of um, the martyrs or hazrat musa on whom be peace who had become unconscious on mount sinai or the hosts of paradise ridwan and the angels in charge of hell and snakes and scorpions from there on tafsir khazainul irfan tafsir ruhul bayan etc explains beautifully more further verse number 68 of surah ad dhumr chapter 24 of holy quran the second blowing will take place after 40 by 40 years is meant the time span of those years otherwise the sun by then would have been destroyed this means they would be raised from their graves they would be in the state of shock or looking with raised eyebrows awaiting what would happen next they would then be walking towards the plains of Qayama for the believers they would be conveyances awaiting at their graves on which they should be riding to the plains of Qayama to the Medan of Hashar and more further Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the day we shall carry the duty bound pious towards the most efficient as guest and everyone who will be doing good deed in this dunya he will get up from his grave as guest is going to be attending a ceremony or something as someone who is waiting a host and host will be Allah and his Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we got to be steadfast on our religion for such privilege which is waiting for us and then the uh, namai amal would be given in our right hands if we will what will be steadfast in on this dunya on our religion more further the very first to emerge from the earth will be the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam hazrat ibrahim on whom be peace will be the first to receive the garment of paradise the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would in fact emerge from the grave and this is what would happen and then Abba Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu and Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu would accompany Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in such state they will be raised from their graves and from every single grave this is what Quran Majid and more further the tafsir explains and the hadith 70 individuals will be would be raised from each grave day of Qayama. So this is the power and Qudrat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is all up to us that how we practice our religion, how we practice which was foretold and ordered by Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is what quran majid speaks about the beauty and glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his powers 